To write the balanced net ionic equation for HClO3 plus BaOH2, this is chloric acid plus barium hydroxide. First, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I, I can see that I have one chlorate ion here and I have two over here. So if I put a two in front of the HClO3, that balances the chlorate ions there. Two hydrogens plus two times one, two hydrogens. So four hydrogens here, put a two here, balances the hydrogens. That also balances the oxygens and the bariums are good. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we write the state for each substance. That looks like this. Chloric acid, that's considered a strong acid. So this will dissociate completely. Barium hydroxide is considered a strong base. It'll dissociate. And then our barium chlorate here, this will be soluble as well. And then water is a liquid. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. That'll look like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we're going to cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So in the reactants and in the products, I do have this barium ion right here, Ba2+. That's a spectator ion. We can cross that out. I also have these two chlorate ions here in the reactants and in the products. So those are spectator ions. I can cross those out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for HClO3 plus BaOH2. I'll clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for chloric acid plus barium hydroxide. Note that we have a two in front of each of these substances, so we can just reduce that down to one, and we don't write the one by convention. Note also we have a positive and a negative, that gives us a net charge of zero. H2O, that's a neutral compound, so net charge of zero. So charge is balanced, and if you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for HClO3 plus BaOH2. Thanks for watching.